Hi guys, Spiro here from WP Society. In today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to create this beautiful DV Hero section with a video background and email opt-in form, just like the one you just saw on the page. Now, before we go into it, I just wanna invite you to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any new videos in which, as you can see, I'm teaching you step-by-step -step tutorials on how to improve your WordPress websites. Now, without further ado, let's go, let's get into it. All right, guys, we are now inside my computer and over at WP Society, where we'll be following this tutorial on how to create a DV Hero section with opt-in and video background. Down below in the description of this video, I'll leave you a link to this tutorial, where basically once you get on a tutorial, you can actually click here over live demo, which will take you to the demo page of this DV Hero section. So you can actually see how it looks like on uh, desktop computers. And then also you can, you know, scroll up and down and see how it actually gonna look on the mobile devices. So it's fully mobile optimized. Now, for the lazy ones, you can also click here on a download icon, which will take you to the blog on DV, where you can actually get single click download for just five bucks. So for the lazy ones, uh, just go over here, click add to cart, purchase this DV hero section. For the ones that wants to get their hands dirty, let's go back to the tutorial and let's get this done. So um, we'll go into this DV exercise page, uh, where we'll be creating a single column, uh, single row column email, and then we're gonna add this email module insert text module and then we also want to insert code module i'm gonna go into this wire view option now first thing that we want to do is we want to add this uh, custom css class to add a class just copy cag dash hero dash section and go over this uh, gear icon in blue which is section settings and then go into the advanced css id and classes and then inside the css class add cag hero section then click here save next we're gonna do we're gonna edit email opt-in actually there is one thing before that we want first to copy custom css uh, css snippet into our code module so let's just select it all right click copy and then go over here gear icon on a code module and then just paste these settings and now let's go back to the email opt-in inside email opt-in settings we first need to put these eight settings which are all content settings as you can see here in tutorial so basically title button body then uh, a service provider you want to select uh, your email service provider connect your um, email account to get this fully working so you want to add an action i prefer redirection to the custom url you want to add redirection url and uh, you want to remove a background because by default DV has this ugly blue background so basically over here email opt-in I'm just gonna copy paste uh, these settings I myself use get response and I strongly recommend you to use get response uh, if you're interested you can click down in description of this video to my affiliate link which will give you a 30 day free get response account and also if you decide to use a premium after 30 days it will give me a little bit of commission so that would be amazing if you do so just continue with the adding success action where you actually want to either display a message or redirect the url i always prefer to redirect the url especially because it's an opt-in page so basically if you grab their information you potentially maybe want to take them to the thank you page where you can ask them to maybe like you or follow you on social media or you can even offer them an upsell depending what kind of an opt-in page you're actually gonna use this hero section at. background as i said we want to remove that background and once that's done click save you can or actually you can just um, use background color disable and then click save <laughs> even better next thing is uh, if we go to the tutorial we actually want to go to email opt-in settings under design and there'll be quite a few changes that we have to do uh, so let's go into design and we'll start with the layout uh, first we want to disable all these three and then we also want uh, body on top and, and a form on the bottom then we're gonna go into the field settings basically close this layout go into the fields and we want to add the field text setting to black focus text to black field padding 12 12 12 12 find your font and then basically we said we want here four pixels and also we want one pixel border width we're gonna close these fields and we're gonna go into the title text title heading level h1 title font we said it's poppins so we said this will be bold center aligned and then we said 52 on desktop 44 on tablet and 32 on mobile so 52 here click here on this mobile icon and then you want to click on a tablet we said 44 and then on the phone we said 32 title line height is 1.1 1.1 that's pretty much it now we can close this one i'm gonna go into the body text it's open this one so center aligned 18 16 and 14 save again and then we're going to go to into the button 
and we want to use a custom styles for our button and then on a tablet it's going to be 16 and then if you click here on the mobile phone it's again 16 automatically uh, so we're going to close this here we said oh background color will be this one text color will be white border bottom with one font open sans no button top bottom 10 and then left right 40 and then we said on a mobile uh, left right 25 and then obviously it's gonna just carry on into the uh, carry on into the phone version as well uh, now what we want to do is basically we want to just save there is no shadow and save this button settings and let's continue next we want to do is we want to copy this html snippet into the text module so this particular html snippet uh, basically is uh, just for that uh, download looking or look down kind of an icon uh, so we're gonna edit into this here text module inside the text not inside the visual so inside the text and copy paste because it is a HTML and then click here save now if you go and exit visual builder you will notice that uh, there will be no button uh, reason why there is no button and why there is no form is because you don't have and you didn't connect your uh, email account so what i'm going to do i'm just going to quickly disable this recording and i'm going to add my account so i'm going to go inside this uh, settings uh, email opt-in settings and then inside an email account uh, inside the get response i'm actually going to click here add and I'm gonna add my account and connect my API key. And now when I've connected my get response account, I can select the list. And for example, I'm just gonna select the WP Society list for particular tutorial. And then I'm gonna click save and save. And basically, uh, if we go and exit Visual Builder right now, now if we go and click exit Visual Builder, it will take us to the DV XSS page where we're gonna have a fully working email opt-in form, DV Hero section, just video background is missing. And to add a video background, we want to go into the section settings. We want to go into the background and then inside the video, we want to add the background video MP4. And you can here go um, upload file. You can find uh, any videos in the media library or you can insert it through URL. I'm just gonna use this uh, uh, default DV video background and I'm gonna click save I'm gonna refresh and that's gonna actually uh, load fully working uh, DV uh, basically uh, a, a exercise page uh, this is exactly what we've seen in a demo page and then or if we open this up on the side we can see that this is fully mobile optimized DV hero section with a video background and email opt-in form connected to the get response fully working uh, and um, yeah, if you found this useful, make sure you smash the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. If you have any questions or if you want to modify it somehow and you need the help uh, for the first seven days, I'll make sure to answer on every comment down below in the comment section. Hope to see you again. Cheers.